When you launch a membership, there are a million things you need to think about. What levels and benefits you're going to offer, how you're going to get people into that membership, putting out new content, and of course, the marketing side of things. Sometimes it's easy to want to ignore that side of the house because you put so much effort into actually building the thing that now you don't want to market it. And one of the best ways to market it is by creating a really good website that communicates the value proposition. And all of this already sounds more complicated than putting out that next bonus video for your members. But there is an easier way. Thanks to Uscreen and their all-in-one platform, you can quickly and easily create a landing page that you can use to get people to sign up for your membership. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Hey everybody, my name's Joe Casabona. I am a podcast automation coach and former web developer. So when I tell you that this is one of the easiest ways that you can create a website for your membership, I really, really mean it. Let's get to it. I do wanna thank Uscreen for sponsoring this video and for their continued partnership. I have really fallen in love with this product as someone who's tried to roll his own multiple times over the last several years. Okay, now let's get into actually building the website. Now, you will see something like this for your website when you first start things up. This is just the default settings here, and this is using the theme glow. What's a theme? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's get into actually creating the website. Okay, so over here in my dashboard, I am going to click on website and you could see the current theme is glow this was the default one for me i did play around with things but you can go to browse themes and i should say that the theme for your website is basically the thing that controls the look and feel of your website the theme will give you a really good starting point for how your website and landing page is going to look but you can then customize the sections the content the colors and more. Okay, so there are five themes here, Glow, Funk Time, Lyra, Pixis, and Vela at the time of this recording. You can preview any of them by clicking preview and then going through and seeing how the page looks and how it's laid out with the default content. I'm a big fan of Glow, but for the sake of showing really how much you can customize, I'm going to pick Lyra. So I'll add that to the library and then I'm going to click customize. The first thing I'm going to do here is change the hero banner from the default image to something different. When I click upload, I have the ability to upload my own images. And so I'm going to go with this one right here that shows kind of a complicated audio recording setup. So this will be the background image. I can then choose a different one for mobile. I'm actually going to choose the same one and just slightly change the crop to focus more on the headphones. So I can kind of do this. You could see that it's locking me into an aspect ratio to ensure that things look good no matter what device size the user is viewing the site on. And we can always preview that by clicking the phone icon here. So you could see what this looks like in a mobile view. Now I want to change the headline here. So I want this headline to say the path to more time while still growing your podcast. That's the value proposition of my membership. So I'll paste that in there. And then I do have an intro paragraph that I will paste in here as well. Something I'm going to do here, because in the you can make some modifications, change the color, change the underline and things like that. You can clear the formatting. So I'm going to bold this text so it stands out a little more and I'm going to make it a little bigger. You can see that we have relative sizes here. So I'm going to assume we're starting on base. And if I go to large, it's going to get just a little bit bigger. Maybe we were already on large. So I'll go to extra large and it got a little bit bigger. And actually there, I probably don't need to bold the text then. 
So then we have the button and then we can choose the link. So if you are using Uscreen's payment processor, you can send them to the join page, which will be automatically generated for you. If you have a custom page that you want to send people to for them to check out, you can do that with the custom link. So let's set this to the join link to make things easier. Now you might notice that I can't change the color of the button. We're going to do that in a different section. So let's go back. You can see our changes have taken here. So under page settings, you'll see a button that says theme customization. This is where we can change the primary color. And so my primary color is a specific orange that I've selected. So I'm going to add that. And then the buttons will update in a minute. There we go. I can also choose a light or dark theme. I'm going to stick with the light color scheme for now. We can also upload a logo. So I have created a logo for the podcast foundry. We can crop it and you could see it gets replaced up in the corner here. So something I might want to do because I want the logo to stand out is change the heading color. But first, we'll update our fav icon so that we can have the brow a custom browser icon. And I'm going to use the same logo. I'm just going to crop it a little bit differently here so that it's cropped in on just the gear. And we won't notice that change because that's only going to show in the browser. You can also change the heading font. It looks like that there's a lot of different fonts here, probably populated from Google fonts. I'm going to keep with enter. That happens to be a font I like using. And then you can also update the login page banner. We'll skip that for now and go back. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to go back here. I'm going to change the overlay color to a lighter color. And you can see the color automatically changes so that we don't lose any contrast. I'm also going to reduce the overlay transparency a little bit. Sorry, go the other way there. So that we our text really stands out here. Okay, so with the header in order here, we can then go to the content block. So here I am going to uh, delete these cards, which you can do by clicking on the card and then deleting it. I'm going to leave the section though. And so maybe call this featured categories. And then when we add the card back, it does add a default card. So we'll remove the image. We can replace that with one of our own. I like highlighting the labs part of the membership. Since it's a foundry, we have an alchemy lab. We can have the byline. You could see that we're adding the time here with a tag. Uh, so we can manually add the time that doesn't get dynamically populated. And then we can make this a link that's active and we can have it link to a specific section of our membership. So I'm just going to fast forward through this, add a couple more cards to fill out this section. Once I've done that, I will change this to get exclusive experiments. And now we have this section here. We also have a text and featured block. So you could see that I have a video that I can feature for free here. We can choose one from the library. So I'm actually going to choose the lab one. I like that a lot. And then we can include again, some text here. Tried and true methods to save you time while growing your podcast. Then I can add some text here. And I can say start saving time today. So now we have our text and video here. Then we have a tile gallery that we can link to all of our series. I'm going to delete this block 
So then that is going to get replaced with a platforms section. So this is highlighting the fact that you can use the membership, like you screen from any platform. So here we can choose images that maybe better fit the devices that are being displayed. I'm going to pick this super cheesy one of me posing for a YouTube video here. And then we can use the same one for each device with a different crop. So the best tips, wherever it's convenient for you, watch on your laptop, phone, or even TV. We can then add a social feed if we want. I'm going to get rid of this too. And actually I'm going to get rid of the FAQ section as well. So. I'm also going to delete the pricing block and I'm going to re-add it. So there's a pricing section here. It's going to get added underneath the platforms section. And if I click on it, you can see it's a generic section. So we'll have to fill this in ourselves. I have one plan that is either monthly or annual. So I'm going to move annual up to the top. I want that to be the featured price. So I can add all of the benefits here. So I'll replace this section with a bulleted list of all of the benefits. We're going to make this the featured section. And then we'll put it at $250 per year. This is already linked to the join page. So I'll go back. I'll do monthly. I'll uncheck that from featured. So then it'll be the same benefits. It's just a little bit more expensive at $25 per month. All right. So now we have our two plans. So you can see that there are a few other theme sections here, like testimonials. If you want to add those, we add a testimonial block and we can easily customize it in the same way that we've customized everything else. We have a photo, we have a name, and we have the testimonial. You can see that the testimonials automatically are a slider. So we can add the title and then add as many cards as we want and reorder them. And then we did get rid of the FAQs block, but if you do want to add those, they have some pre-filled questions here that you can add, which is great. And so with all of this, I think I'm ready to go live. I'll delete the FAQs one. I think I'm ready to go live. The last thing I would want to check is the footer. And you could see in the footer, we have the copyright line. So I'm going to say copyright podcast foundry and Joe Casabona. 2023, then we can add our links. And as we add links, they'll automatically get placed in the footer. So I don't have Facebook. I do have YouTube. I have Twitter. And then we have generic links to the app store and Google play. If we get our membership on there. Okay. Now with that, let's take a look at our site. I'll click go live. Our website is published. So let's take a look at it. So you can see it's exactly the way that we designed it in the editor. And if we click the join page, we will see both memberships here for the $25 a month or the $250 per year. Now, a couple of other things to note is that I do have a custom domain set up. So you can do that over on storefront domains. That's a topic for another video. We also have site settings here. So 
we are pulling from this information from your website. So like the name Podcast Foundry was pulled from the site settings area. If you view this while you're logged in, it will take you to the actual membership area. Without custom code, there's not a lot of ways to customize this. It's going to pull the same sort of theme from what you've designed for the landing page. Again, you could use custom code if you want. In order to use that custom code, you can click the three dots and go to edit code and it will give you all of the theme files for you to edit here. Just make sure that you really understand what you're doing because you could create some breaking changes in a production site, but this will give you access to all of the templates as well as the JavaScript and CSS. Again, I would caution you to only do this if you know what you're doing, but that does give you maximum flexibility. So to sum up, you can create a very easy website using Uscreen's website builder to create totally custom sections and design a landing page that will convert. If you want to take it another step further, you also have access to all the theme files. If you want to create with custom code, only do that if you know exactly what you're doing. You can learn more by heading over to casabona.org slash uscreen. That's casabona.org slash uscreen. It'll be linked in the description as well. But let me know, are you setting up a membership? What's the hardest part for you? Do you like what you saw here? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel. And of course, thank you to Uscreen for sponsoring this video. Very honest video that they've sponsored here. Uh, and until next time, get out there and build something.